Formula One is in active talks with US internet giants Amazon over streaming deals to screen its Grand Prix races as the world's most valuable motorsport series seeks a digital future beyond television broadcasting. The discussions come as F1 seeks to expand its audience, targeting younger fans who are increasingly switching to watching sport online rather than on traditional TV networks. F1 is also under pressure to unlock new revenues after coronavirus-induced losses in 2020. The group incurred operating losses of $363 million in the first nine months of the year because of lower fees from race promoters and a hit to corporate hospitality without fans in attendance. Liberty Media, the US group that acquired the sport for $8 billion four years ago, was forced to inject $1.4 billion of cash into F1 in April for a load half its workforce and agreed salary cuts with executives to weather the pandemic. However, Amazon and other big internet companies have been reluctant to offer the sort of money that broadcasters have previously paid for the rights to show F1. The racing series' biggest broadcast deal with Comcast on Sky in the UK is worth $250 million a year in an arrangement that runs until 2024. This year, F1 has negotiated a renewed TV rights deals in Canada, France, Germany, Italy, Spain, and the Nordics, while it is also in the process of finalizing a deal in Brazil. Broadcast deals represent about a third of overall F1 revenues. The talks may not change anything. In the US, Formula One airs on ESPN, showing the broadcast feed from Sky Sports in the UK. However, with the pandemic, that could change things with both the series and ESPN facing significant losses. The Netflix Drive to Survive series has already attracted a number of new viewers to the sport and could have F1 looking at online services as a way to grow beyond the niche popularity in the US. Now that's all said and done, it's fair to say that the 2020 season has been a great one for McLaren. For such a successful team, realistically, the best they could hope for is finishing behind Mercedes and Red Bull in 2020. Still, McLaren has a lot to do before the 2021 season despite the rules only changing minimally. They'll have Daniel Ricciardo coming in from Renault to join consistent performer Lando Norris, a new partnership with Gulf Oil, and probably most important of all, a Mercedes power unit replacing the Renault one. The problem is the 2021 technical regulations, which include some slight aero changes, increased weight, a set number of engine modes, eco-friendly materials, fuel restrictions, and limitations on teams' reverse engineering efforts. As a result, most teams have more or less opted to keep the basic concept of the car largely the same for 2021. However, despite those limitations, Changing the engine supplier means this year's MCO35 has to be almost completely redesigned not only to accommodate the new power unit and its related systems, but also to balance out the rest of the car from the swap. Technical director James Key says 2021's MCO35M will be akin to a new car due to the changes necessary for the Mercedes engine. McLaren will have much more work to do and its 2021 car will differ more than the 2021. On the other hand, Having the best engine on the grid is a huge plus, so if the chassis and aero are on par, there's no reason why they shouldn't do as well as this year and who knows, maybe challenge for podiums more consistently. Daniel Kivet insists he is not making a last ditch effort to hang on to his place in Formula 1. The Russian qualified 7th in Abu Dhabi, calling it the best qualifying lap of his career. However, he fully expects AlphaTauri's owner Red Bull to replace him for 2021 with Honda back rookie Yuki Tsunoda. Kibia says his search informed since Imola is now linked with a drop in pressure since the Tsunoda news began to break. When asked if his current form would have helped Dr. Helmut Marko to make a different decision about 2021 some months ago, Kibia answered, I don't know, but it could have helped. Anyways, now it's time for meme of the day, and here it is. And that's been it for this video. If you enjoyed this video, then make sure to leave a like and don't forget to subscribe. Apart from that, I hope you're an awesome day and um, bye bye.